This is our connect mouth call. This is a three reed bat wing cut style call. Call runs real easy, has a clear beginning and uh, can get a lot of rasp out of it. Here's our touch point three reed cutter. Uh, heavy top reed, two thin reeds on the bottom. This one will really snap and crack bang if you're a, if you like running mouth calls, use them for locating. This one will do it. You can tone it down too, but it's a really aggressive call and a great call to have in your arsenal. Good tip when you're just learning how to use mouth calls is first of all, you got to be patient. A mouth call is probably the cheapest call you're going to buy, but it's going to be the hardest, uh, going to have the most learning curve on it. Make sure your, your uh, call fits the roof of your mouth. Don't be afraid to bend the frame a little bit, but you never want to kink it. A slight bend won't hurt anything. The tape is put on here to help you seal up into the roof of your mouth. And you can cut the tape off a little bit depending on the palate of your mouth. And whenever you're running the call to start, uh, just start by saying PPP or just breathing on it and saying PPP as you breathe on it. And you're going to get that high pitch front end. And after you get that high pitch front end, you're just going to drop your jaw. And then blend those two together for a nice yelp. When you're learning how to run our touch point call, uh, remember to have patience. It's going to take a, take a while to, to learn them and, and build your confidence up by taking it step by step. Just get your initial sound, then get your rollover, then you can add more air and you can crack bang it a little bit just by dropping your jaw. But make sure that the call fits into the roof of your mouth. Make sure the tape is comfortable in there and it doesn't touch your gag reflex. and just pop that air out of it. Learn to get a high and learn to get a low, and that's just how much air pressure you put on it. You can move your tongue around. But have a lot of patience with a mouth call. Don't be afraid to fit it, and learn to use different air pressures in your mouth. Mouth calls are a great, uh, great tool to use. A lot of different advantages for mouth call, but one of the biggest ones is you can call, you can be very directional with your call. Just by turning your head or using your hands, you can make that turkey think you're this way or you're this way, and you can take your volume up and down according to the direction. One of the uh, best advantages of using a mouth call is when you're trying to finish the deal and you don't want to be moving around a lot, maybe all you have to do is cluck at them or make a real soft yelp and you don't have to be moving around. Sometimes that's all it takes to get his head up or to bring him in a couple yards. And you can't do that with a friction call like you can a, a mouth call. So mouth calls are great when you don't want to be moving around.